Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Christy. Today we're going to be talking about sculptures. What's a sculpture? A sculpture is a piece of art that's done in 3D. We've talked about 3D before, right? Let's look at it again. So how do you know the difference between 2D and 3D and what does the D stand for? Well, the D stands for dimensions. What are dimensions? Dimensions are measurements. So if I have this two, whoa, this 2D ball, I can measure how tall it is. That's one dimension. I can measure how wide it is. That's two dimensions. But can I measure how deep this is? Oh, I cannot measure how deep it is because it has no depth. Therefore, it is two dimensional. What about this 3D ball? Let's see how many dimensions it has. Can I measure how wide it is? Yes. Can I measure how tall it is? Yes. And can I measure how deep it is? Oh, I can, look at that. So this is three dimensions because it has that third dimension of depth. And the depth is the difference. Next, I wanted to show you some two-dimensional art and some three-dimensional sculpture. Let's see, this two-dimensional art, hmm, one dimension, two dimensions, let's try the depth. Oh, wait, let me try that again. Oh, no, darn it, there's no depth, so this is a 2D piece of art. Meanwhile, let's look at this one now. Whoa, all right, let's see. This one has height, yes. It has width, yes. It's got two dimensions. What about depth? Let's see what it has depth. This is a three dimensional piece of artwork, also known as a sculpture. For today's art project, I need you to get a few things, some boxes, or some cardboard. Cardboard's a little bit harder to cut. Some scissors. Ask your parents for permission, please. And maybe some caps or things to draw with. I decided I wanted to do a panda sculpture. So what I did was I traced a bunch of things, cut them out, and then put them together. Let me show you what it looked like. Once you have your parts cut out, the way you put them together is to make a little cut on one side. See that? And then a little cut where you want it to connect in. Like that. And then you can put those two cuts together and kind of push them down until they lock in place with one another. Now I'm going to take all my pieces and put them together to make a panda. And now that I have my panda, I'm going to Google search some images to see what a panda looks like so that I can add some details to make it look more like a panda. Pixie, what do you think? Pixie! Pixie approves. So I've done a Google search and I found out all kind of interesting things about pandas. This is called China Highlights. And if you go down, you can see that they have cat-like pupils. They have strong teeth. Did you know that their paws have six fingers? I did not know that. It tells you how tall and heavy pandas are. So much information. What they eat. Anyway, I saw what this panda looked like. 
and I went ahead and tried to color mine in to look more like a panda with the black legs and the stripe on the body. Pixie, what do you think? You think it looks okay, Pix? Mm, Allie thinks it's good. <laughs> abstract. What does abstract mean? Well, we've learned before in art that if you have a painting that is an abstract painting, it could be whatever your imagination wants it to be. This could be a waterfall, or it could be an explosion. It could be a galaxy in outer space, right? It could be whatever we want because it's abstract. But this time we're going to make an abstract sculpture. We're just gonna take a box, open it up, and cut it into a bunch of different pieces that we can put together to make a sculpture. Let's see. Now that I have a bunch of pieces, I want to start putting it together. If I want to make a nice sturdy base for this to stand up, what I could do is take two similarly sized pieces and I can make a cut in one halfway up to the top and then I can make a cut in another one that goes halfway to the bottom. Then when I stand them up and put one on top of the other, I can kind of open that slit up and squeeze it down so it goes all the way down. Ah, then it stands up on its own. Let's see. See that? Then I can start adding other pieces to the top of it. So I can take another piece, like maybe this one, and I can cut a little piece. Let's think about how it wants to go. Ooh, maybe I want it to go kind of crooked like that, kind of on an angle, on a diagonal. So I would think about which way my cut needs to be. So I'm gonna make my cut here on a diagonal. Remember, like the slide on a playground? Now that I have a little cut, I'm going to put that in there. Ah, then maybe I can put something else on top of here and I can keep building on that. Let me see how big I can get with my one box that I used for this. Pixie, you approve of these? Yes, thanks Pix. So remember that this is an abstract sculpture and just like an abstract painting, you can think whatever you want it to be. Maybe this is an alien spaceship or something else. What does your imagination say this is? You can also make some kind of an animal or other thing. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Please email me and show me what you did. I love you and I miss you very much. I can't wait to see you again. Bye.